Well, the health of Valentin County is, is extremely important. The healthier our large landscape is, the better air quality we're gonna have, the better water quality we're gonna have. Healthy trees, forests, everybody wants to be able to enjoy those things. The Continuous Cover Program is a, what we like to call a set-aside program. Uh, what is currently in a cropping system, a uh, rotation usually consisting of corn, wheat, beans, uh, alfalfa, things like that, converting that into a perennial cover. Three main applications are going to be either a, a full-blown prairie restoration, the second would be what we would call like a cool season or a non-native grass, and then the third land use is allowing people to use rotational or managed grazing on these systems. This program is really important both for our farmers and for our environment. We have a lot of farmers who want to innovate and, and engage in new practices. They want to they look at rotational grazing. They might have some land that's maybe vulnerable to runoff and they'd like to put that in grasses or prairie. Um, and with our partnership, they're able to do that. We're paying farmers and landowners to keep our air and water clean by doing practices like perennial agriculture. We were in a rotation of uh, corn, uh, soybeans and wheat. And so now we went to an oat cover crop and we seeded in underneath it. More water holding capacity. You have natural nitrogen that's occurring in your soil, so you lead less of that artificial stuff, which winds up in the lake. <laughs> At my stage of farming, it was a perfect program for me. This has always been a spot that was difficult to get a good crop from because it does sit so low. It's probably the first spot on the farm to flood. We were immediately drawn to anything that would help with flooding for the Blacker Creek Valley area. And with the continuous cover crop, it'll be a lot easier to get some harvest of the grass crop that's on here all the time and have some feed for our animals to eat. Anything that can be done through a program like this that helps encourage getting production out of the existing farmland is good for the family farmers. We're working on restoring 15 acres to native pollinator prairie. We're really interested in the bees and the hummingbirds and you know the different pollinators that are going to come in and um, be able to help the overall ecosystem grow. And they've done a really nice job at setting up a program that allows you to do the right thing by the environment without having to ne necessarily give up all of your income that you might have made from growing a crop. We have 20 acres on our property here that we converted from annual row crop to um, perennial pasture. The program provided us everything we needed up front to get going and get off the ground. It gave us the ability to take care of the land, do some perennial pasture cropping, but also be able to harvest it and raise animals on it, which was our ultimate goal. The soil health is number one. If we take care of the soil, it will take care of us. So we wanna take care of it for ourselves, for our kids and the future generations that we hope are here. We wouldn't have been able to do this without that program.